to snatch this opportunity. But let's talk about battery anxiety. So uh, I've had this car since uh, September 22nd of last year and it's uh, January 12th. I've driven this car 9,300 miles. You know, I had battery anxiety the first month that I had the car until I, you know, went to all the destinations that I normally go in my normal year. But this week, you know, we have this huge winter storm coming in South Texas and all winter long, it has not gotten to uh, freezing. This morning, it was 32 degrees when I left my house. I charged my car to 90% last night just like I always do and you know because that's healthy for the battery I am on autopilot right now I'm just, I could just kick myself I got set up to put my camera on the roof of my car so I can do some autopilot videos but I I didn't have that set up because I was going to work today I've been at work for the last you know seven hours I left you know I charged to 90% last night and when I got up this morning you know I leave Century on overnight at my house and I didn't do scheduled departure. I, I never do that because I never know what time I'm gonna leave in the morning. It's not regular, so I would have to mess with it every day because I go to a different surgery center every single day. So I never use scheduled departure. So when I got in my car this morning, um, because of sentry mode, my car was already down to 87% um, battery. So even though I charged up to 90%, I lost 3% battery overnight because it had already charged to 90% and then it stopped charging, but then my sentry mode is draining my battery overnight. So it is drained at 3%. Now, I always give myself 30 minutes to get ready in the morning. So whenever I get up in the morning and I have that 30 minutes, I go ahead and hit full defrost in my Tesla app on my phone so my car can start warming up and everything before I get in. So I have the seat warmer on full blast, I have the front and back defrost full blast, and then I have the heater full blast for 30 minutes in my car this morning while I was getting ready. I got in my car and my car had gone down to 76% battery. So it was 87% when I woke up and it was down to 76% 30 minutes later when you know I had been defrosting and using the heater and all that stuff. My trip was 54.1 miles one way. Now, I was like, well, crap, you know, I've already lost, you know, 10% battery just defrosting and, you know, 3% from um, sentry mode overnight. So I'm going to go ahead and put the car in chill mode. You know, I left my seat warmer on full blast and I had the heater on, but only for like a little bit. Like when I got super cold, I turned on for a few minutes or whatever, two or three minutes. And then I would turn the heater completely off like, and the fan to try to conserve battery because I knew it was going to be kind of cutting it close today. And you have to remember that your car is not only warming you up, but it also has to warm that battery. I had 39% battery when I got to work and I had used 17 kilowatt hours for 54.1 miles. So I got to work, it was 39% battery and I had sentry mode on all day at work. When it sat for seven hours, it had gone from 39% battery down to 31% battery. So it was 31% battery when I left work. It said the temperature was 31 degrees when I left work. And I had my first snowflake on the battery. Which is actually really cool. I've been wanting that and I'm like, I'm never gonna get it because I live down in South Texas, but um, finally got it because we have this crazy winter storm coming. So I plugged in my home address and it said that I was gonna get home with 6% battery. And it said that I needed to stay at 50 miles per hour or under. And I'm like, I'm driving on the tollway the entire way home. Like I can't do 50 miles per hour. I need to go minimum 65 miles per hour. Now, there is two superchargers on the way home. Okay, I could stop and charge at a supercharger, but I don't want to. <laughs> and I also have been wanting to do this test for you guys because everyone's been asking me, you know, should I get a long range? Should I get a standard range plus? Do I really need the long range battery? And I'm like, I can't really tell because I live in the deep south, 
Southeast Texas, Houston, it never freezes here. It maybe freezes once a year. That's it. There's no snow, there's no sleep, no ice, no nothing. So this is a rare opportunity for me to do this experiment with this cold weather and be like, okay, for real, when it's, you know, 32 degrees out, this is really how far you can go in this car. And driving on the freeway. Because again, you know, I have to go minimum 65 miles per hour and I'm already like making people mad. People are going around me, you know, people are whizzing by me on both sides. I'm trying to be courteous and switch lanes when I need to, when people are really riding, you know, my butt. But um, it, it sucks because I normally do 75 miles per hour. I'm doing 65 right now, the exact speed limit. So it said that I would get home with 5% once I started going. I do not have the heater on at all right now. I have no fan on, no heater on, no seat warmers on, no stereo on, and I'm in comfort and chill mode right now. Um, so I'm trying to use the minimal about amount of battery possible and try to make it home. Now it says on my battery that I have 39 miles to go and it says that my destination, my house is 11 miles away. So that should be plenty. So that's actually saying that I have more battery than I should, you know, when I started this trip. So I'm hoping that we will make it. <laughs> so I really don't want to go to the next supercharger. I already passed the first supercharger, so I can't go there anymore. The next one is kind of out of the way from my house. Like it's, it's like 10 miles out of the way one way. So then it's really 20 miles out of the way from my house. So I'm really hoping I can just make it home. Um, <laughs> it should be totally fine. I don't have that much further to go. And I'm doing 66 miles per hour right now. But there's people just like staying behind me. <laughs> they could go around. There's like not that much traffic right now. I mean, you know, the road is fairly clear right now. battery 
and it said to stay under 50 miles per hour. But I think it's helping that I don't have the radio on, I don't have my seat warmers on, I don't have the heater on. The heater really uses a lot of electricity. And now this is a September edition 2020 Standard Range Plus Model 3. But with the new 2021s, they actually have a water pump now. So it's using a lot less energy. It, it does give you an extra 20 miles of range and you know it uses a lot less electricity, especially in situations like this where you have colder weather. Your battery likes to be warm and toasty just like you and that really uses a lot. <laughs> Ugh, can't believe it. All right, so home is 3.4 miles and I still have 14% battery left. Now remember, I charged up to 90% battery. So once I get down to 10% battery, I want to see how many miles I would have been able to go further if I had charged up to 100%. So we're going to look at that in just a second. I'm about to take over here. All right, so we have 1.8 miles to home, 14% battery left. So I actually, ah, my hands are frozen. <laughs> actually just turned on the heater on full blast and my seat warmer on full blast <sighs> we made it oh my god I can't believe it I was really freaked out the that is that is by far this is the lowest that I've ever had my battery um, since I've had the car we are at 12% and I am home <sighs> all right we've so uh, I'm home. I made it. Didn't have to stop at a supercharger. I have 12% battery left. Okay, now we're down to 11% battery. It's going to go pretty quick because I have my heater on full blast here. For 11% battery, it says I can drive 26 miles. Now, I only charged up to 90% battery last night, remember? So technically, I still, if I had charged up to 100%, I still have basically 10% battery right now in my driveway. And I lost, you know, I didn't charge up to 100, so that's basically 20% um, battery that I still have. And I drove 108.2 miles, and I still have 20% battery left. So, and it says that, 26 miles. Eleven percent battery. And remember it used three percent battery for losing it overnight to sentry mode because I didn't have it in scheduled departure. Um so basically twenty-six miles times two. So that's fifty-two miles that I still had and I drove 108.2 miles so let's figure that up 108.2 miles plus 52 miles that I could have gone longer because remember I could have charged to 100% and I still got home with 10% battery left so 160.2 miles freeway driving only at 65 miles per hour to 75 miles per hour I had it in chill mode and um I did have it in chill and comfort mode until one mile ago I put it in standard sport but all this morning and all afternoon my driving I have basically had essentially no heater on the whole time on the way to work and on the way home on the way to work I turned the heater on full blast for maybe four minutes total my whole hour drive and on the way home I just turned it on the last maybe five minutes now so so in 32 to 42 degree weather, driving on the freeway only, 65 miles per hour to 75 miles per hour, I could have driven in total 160.2 miles, but this car is rated for 240 miles of range. That's crazy. So that's my experiment. I drove 108.2 miles. If I had charged up to 100% battery and used scheduled departure so I didn't lose that little 3% for sentry mode last night. And if I had gone all the way down to 0% battery, I could have driven 160.2 miles in the 2020 Model 3 Standard Range Plus. And this weather isn't even that cold. Like I know people up north are like, it's freaking ridiculously cold. There's snow everywhere. There's no snow here. There's no ice. It's, uh, it's now, 42 degrees outside. It was 32 degrees this morning. 
and 32 when I left work today. If you're considering getting a Model 3 and you can't decide between standard range plus and long range, you need to consider where you live and the cold temperatures. Hot temperatures don't really matter, but cold temperatures really, really cut that battery 160 miles, but it's supposed to be able to go 240 miles. And if I had the heater on full blast, which I did not, and if I had it in sport mode and I had, you know, five people in here, you know, three people in the back and two people in the front, and then the car loaded down with luggage for a road trip, I would have lost even more because you've got weight in the car and you're using that heater and the seat warmers, moving the seat back and forth, adjusting the seat and, you know, messing with all these different things. So yeah, if your commute's not that far and you have a lot of, um, you know, superchargers around you and you live up north and it's freezing, you'll probably be fine. And like I said, I have two superchargers that I could have stopped at on the way home, but I wanted to do this experiment for y'all and see how far I could really go. I hope you guys like this video. I know I looked absolutely terrible for this, but I didn't plan on this and I had to jump at the opportunity because um, it doesn't normally get this cold here. <laughs> it's actually supposed to snow on Monday and it hasn't snowed for like, I don't know, five years. So super excited about that. I hope we get just like a little bit of snow, just a little bit, just enough for like each one of my six kids to have one snowball. That would be amazing. So I'm really hoping that we get some snow. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you next week. We're down to 9% battery now because I've been sitting here with the heater on full blast. 9% battery is 21 miles. And for this trip, 105.9 miles, I've used 27 kilowatts. If you swipe all the way, there's your PSI, which actually it's not showing my PSI in my tires. So that's kind of weird. It normally does. And then here, when you swipe all the way to this left dot, that'll show your distance and everything. Now. This is since 1.08 p.m., which is when I left work, but this is from this morning when I left. 105.9 miles total and 27 kilowatts. My total mileage you have here, and then if you swipe up again, you can actually set your, um, you can change these. You can hit reset and rename. Now, I'm not going to do that because I have it set to driving year 2021. Um, so for this year, oh no. That's not what I want to do. Okay. For driving year 2021, I've driven 2,027 miles and I've used 485 kilowatts. So this is actually how many kilowatts I've used this year, but I actually didn't set this until like January 10th. So I lost 10 days there, but whatever. Here's your um, odometer, 9,353 miles. So it's pretty cool. I didn't realize the first few months of having the car that you could actually scroll like this and rename all these things and you know, keep tabs. There's actually four different ones keeping your tally of how many kilowatts and miles. So that's totally awesome. And so I just keep a log in my calendar, how many kilowatts I've used per day and how many miles I've driven per day for work so that I can, um, you know, deduct that from my taxes. So I have a, uh, 240 volt outlet and it's actually on a 30 amp breaker and we're down to like 8% battery right now and I have it just to charge up to 90% battery again. And it says it's gonna take seven hours and 45 minutes to charge. So if everyone was wondering, you know, how long it takes to charge at home, that's it right there. And now I normally don't use this much. I normally get home with like 40% battery, but it's, it's totally doable to, you know, drive to work, drive back home, go to the grocery store and everything, and then just charge at home in your driveway while you're sleeping.